Welcome to my really horrible quality haul. But I decided that I'm going to do my hauls on just eyesight because you guys know my new resolution is if I were to buy something, then I should donate something. And if I share it online, then I am more likely to stick to it. I apologize for the quality. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get into what I bought for the past couple weeks. Um, I have been stocking up on winter clothing and I don't have a lot of winter clothing because when I lived in Houston, um, every time when I need to go out and buy something, like I would throw on a pair of jeans and like a sweatshirt and I would buy everything that I need for like the next week or two. And you really don't do that in Hong Kong because you can only carry so much on your back. And also, living in Hong Kong, I am more inclined to dress up because everyone out here, they always look so nice and you don't want to be that person in pajamas. Well, I mean, you can, but I don't want to be that person in pajamas when I'm walking outside buying bananas for the week. But I do go, go grocery shopping about three to four times a week because I can only carry so much on my shoulders. So I usually just buy something, eat it all, and then go and grab more stuff. Anyways, I went on a total like tangent about why I don't have winter clothing. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to stock up on some winter essentials. So the first thing is this top from Zara and it's just a button up. I love my button ups. I think I look the best when I wear a button up. And so button up with a tiny little collar. Um, and then this has like tiny little anchor prints on it and it is 100% cotton. I really, really like how structured this one feels and it's blue. That's pretty. So what I'm giving away or donating is this top. This one is from Express, I think. And I think the, like the lace detailing is really cool, but it's made of polyester and I'm trying to cut polyester out of my life. Um, especially for summer clothing because in Hong Kong and in Houston, wearing polyester is like wearing a trash bag. <laughs> it's really humid and I sadly and disgustingly get heat rashes. Like the first time I was in Hong Kong a couple of years ago, I was wearing like a polyester t dress and I was out just for a couple of hours and talking about it is giving me goosebumps. I was out only for a couple of hours and it kind of rained a little bit so we got a little bit wet and then it was also really humid and super hot and so when I got home I had like, it was so gross, I had like rashes from the back all the way to the front of my under boob and like on both sides and it was like a heat rash and it happens because your skin can't breathe and so I had to nix polyester out of my life otherwise I'm gonna get rashes all over my body and just talking about it is like making my skin crawl Ugh. so yeah that's the reason why I am trying to cut polyester clothing out of my summer wear next piece um this is from forever 21 it is a chambray button up and it has polka dots and it's also 100 percent cotton um this can be worn in the summer i i don't think i'm gonna bust it on the summer it's it's too hot even though it is cotton it's still too hot and i am trading it off with this other button up uh, this one's from H&M and I got this about a year ago and I wore it like all summer long last year. Um, and this is made with 100% rayon. I really, really like it. Um, the reason why I'm donating it is because if I want to buy something in my closet, I have to be willing to give something away. Um, this is really nice, but I have other tops that I, I love a lot more than this. So I was willing to donate this. This top, this is also from Forever 21 and is also 100% cotton. This looks like a pajama um, button up. <laughs> it's really big and it's super roomy. I really like the shoulder because it's cut in a really interesting way where it droops at the shoulder and the shoulder line like hits right here um, on your biceps and it kind of gives you this relaxed easy feel and what I'm training off for that is this tank here and I think this is also from Express this is so sad I've actually worn this twice maybe um, yeah and it's 92% polyester eh. but I think it's really pretty because it has all these floral details right here and and also for the yoke it's sheer, so it's kind of it's kind of showy. So next would have to be these two things, and they are just pantyhose. Um, I want to be able to wear like skirts and shorts in the winter. I know that sounds really weird, but I really do like 
wearing like skirts and shorts and then like boots because um, I think it looks really cute and the cool thing is that these are from Topshop and they come in different thread counts so there's 50, 80, 120 and so forth. I think I got the 120. So it's opaque enough where you can't see my feet or my legs but I mean it's not too thick where like I feel like I can't breathe in them. Um, there's the 200 count one and it's really thick. It's like wearing a sock from feet all the way up to thigh. Since it's two items that I bought, I'm giving away two items. And of course they're not like equal, but I'm giving them away. Okay, so it would have to be this button up. It's polka dot and it's from H&M. Um, and it's 100% cotton and I got this last year and I don't know what happened but because it's cotton um, It shrunk quite a bit and so when I wear it you can see like the button-up part like it will leave a gap And it looks like it's too tight so and then for the second item that I'm giving away because I bought two pairs of pantyhose um, Is this top and this is also from H&M Okay, next up we have a t-shirt and this is from Zara and this is 100% viscous, viscose, yeah, I think it's 100% viscose or lyocell. Zara's tags are like this long and it's like five layer thick and it itches like crazy so I snagged it up. However, if I really wanted to know, do you guys, this is so crazy, <laughs> I mean it's kind of, it's, it's kind of a problem. So you guys know how I have the style book app on my phone and basically you take a picture of everything that's in your closet and the reason why I have started to do, do this um, last summer is because I want to know what's in my closet so I don't end up overbuying and I don't end up buying the same thing because that's what happened to me in Houston because our closets are so big and so massive that like you tend to hoard the same item and so when I was giving stuff away before I moved to Hong Kong I was like how freakishly wasteful am I so by taking a picture of everything categorizing them um, it's like work like shopping should feel daunting so that you don't shop more often so I took a picture of everything and so let's go into t-shirts because I already categorized that and this is the shirt right here that we're looking at and I even have oopsie so if I p click on it um it, I even have it categorized how much I paid for it in USD where I bought it from and it even says that it's 100% viscose um, this way you know when I cut off the tag at least I still know what it's made of and and it also has like worn days like how many times I've worn it and stuff like that but it keeps me organized and I know exactly what's in my closet and what I should or should not add to my closet and you know like when you make shopping more of um, an effort you tend to shop less and so like knowing that I have to categorize this when I get home like sometimes I look at this piece and I'm like I don't want to buy this I'm too lazy to do it so um yeah trade off would have to be this shirt here um from Zara it's nice but I think the the neckline is a little bit too low for me so like because it's so low I don't tend to wear it often okay next piece is this really awesome um, really big top here it's super flowy so comfortable it like pretty much covers up like your thigh and everything and this one is made with a hundred percent I think this is rayon oh this goes as well this goes rayon I think they're in the same family um I, I love it I just love how airy it feels like when you feel it you can feel how cool it is so it'll be a good piece to wear during the summer but I can still wear like a, a turtleneck and stuff with long sleeves and some leggings or something it'll still look really cool so totally digging this this top here from Abercrombie and I got this a couple of years ago from the Abercrombie outlet let's see I don't even know what it's made of but I need to get rid of this so here we go donating this and because this shirt was a little bit more expensive I'm gonna donate two things so yeah so here we go another button up and this one is a hundred percent rayon yeah I remember it being rayon so it's like that and it ties at the bottom okay <sighs> I'm getting a little tired 
Next piece. This is also from Zara. This one is 45% polyester and 45% um, viscose. And hear me out. So when you buy clothing, if you're going to wear it specifically just for winter or fall, it's okay to have a little bit of polyester because polyester is what actually keeps you warm. So I plan on wearing this only during the winter. I mean, who wears a turtleneck long sleeve during the summer anyways? So yeah, that's the reason why I was able to let a little bit of polyester into my life. Only for winter clothing though. So this is going to be like a, just a relaxed, loose fit winter, fall shirt that I can wear with my jeans and some boots and maybe like a big scarf around it and call it a day. Ugh. Okay, trade off would have to be this top here and it's from H&M and I actually did an outfit lookbook with this and wore it a couple of times in some of my videos but I am over it and it is a tank and I don't know. And I'm also going to trade off one more thing for this awesome basic. Um, this is a New York and Company tank. And it has a, it's actually really, really pretty. It has this awesome loose flowiness on top here. But the neckline is too deep for me. I don't like to wear things with that deep of a neckline. Um, I don't know. I don't like to show off my breast assist. So gotta go moving on so this is also from Zara and it is a romper and I really love how this romper fits first of all you guys see this crotch right here this is a two inch inseam right there so a lot of rompers these days has like a half inch inseam so when it's loose and flowy like this you can see everything <laughs> so I, I want a two inch inseam and yay for it and I also really like how it fits it actually hugs my waist right here sometimes they don't hug my waist and the boob part is really droopy for some odd reason so this one fits really 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 well otherwise uh -uh, I would have not gotten it and also it has sleeves which is very nice I also really like the print on it and of course the winner would have to be the pockets Anything with pockets on it is a total win for me. Like, it could be totally hideous, and if it has pockets and it's made of 100% viscose, I might possibly buy it just because of the pockets. And the trade-off would have to be these pair of shorts that I got from Forever 21. They're high-waisted and they have this really cool pattern on it. And I'm also, because it is a romper, I have to give away two pieces. Maybe even three, huh? Um, just a big long maxi skirt. And the reason why I don't wear them often is because I'm really clumsy and this is an accident waiting to happen. So I just don't wear maxi skirts very often. And also I'm giving away this top. It is the Campbell Soup top that I bought with Cindy um, earlier in the summer when she was visiting. And I've worn it a couple of times, but you know, again, I'm over it because it's one of those things where if I'm willing to buy, I have to be willing to donate. So, willing to donate this. We have just a couple more pieces to go. Okay, these pants, these awesome sweatpants that can be worn at home or I can wear it out with a blazer. I actually wore it out with my little trench that I bought from Zara a couple of days ago and it looked pretty cool. And the reason why I bought this was because I was like, this is going to look so good with my Nike Air Max. And I'm trying to wear my Nike Air Max as much as possible because I'm so in love with them. And the trade-off would have to be this skirt, which I bought from the Argyle Center. And I like it, but, you know, I think I'm just done with Circle Surf skirts for now. So, yeah. Okay, next piece. It would have to be the same concept. It's like the sweatpants that I showed you earlier but this is made with a better material and it has the cool zipper detailings all the way on the top at the waist right there and also at the ankle trade off since that those pants were a little bit more expensive um I'm trading off three items so these floral shorts from Forever 21 it has the pom-pom underneath and let me tell you this little like 
you know, inseam. It's like one inch. So it can get a little skanky if I wore, if I hike them up a little bit too high. So passing these off. The shorts from Express. Um, don't really wear white shorts very often, and it's hard because you can see panty lines and all. And then I wore the death out of these shorts um, from H&M, and the cuff is just so bad right now. You actually need to iron the cuff, but these sweat shorts, I mean, you guys seen them a couple times on Instagram. <sighs> two more pieces, and two really big and goody pieces. The first one would have to be this Zara military-esque jacket and I've been looking for a military-esque jacket in for a while. Now this one has everything that I want in this type of jacket. First of all, it has a hood. That is awesome to me. <laughs> and second of all, it fits really, really well. Some of these can be very um very loose fitting and for some reason those kind of loose fitting military jackets looks it looks like it's swallowing me up. And so, yeah. And then lastly, it has kind of like a ruffle detailing in the back. So it's still very girly. Um, it gives you that tough, tough look with all the zippers and the way it's cut. But then like, it, you know, it's a little ruffle here. It's like, hey, I'm still a girl. Calm down. You know, treat me like a lady. And because it's a jacket, I would have to give away more. This t-shirt, this just white plain basic shirt from Topshop. Um, what else? These jeans, got them from, I think Old Navy. Oh, I think it got too tight or something. Yeah, because I shrunk them in the wash. So, can't wear this. Ugh, oh gosh, oh gosh. And these pants from Forever 21. Actually, I wore it to um, Generation Beauty two years ago. If you guys can find that picture somewhere. Yeah, really nice. So last piece of clothing um, would have to be this coat. And I am so in love with it. It is so cute. I love the box cut. I love the pattern. I love the sleeves. And I just love this. It just looks so modern, so chic. And I could throw it on any outfit and instantly I look so much better. And I've been wearing this like for the past five days since I got this coat. I really, really love it. Now this is 50% acrylic and 50% polyester. Acrylic is a fiber that a lot of your sweaters are made out of. So if it's not made out of like real wool, it's most likely acrylic. I'm not gonna wear this in the summer nor the spring, so it's okay to have it be polyester and acrylic because I need it to keep me warm, but I really love this and I love the big deep pockets in the front. It's so, it's just so mod and it's such like a, a nice box cut, just sleek all the way down. I'm going to give the rest of this stuff away, which is a checkered skirt that looks like this. Got it really, really cheap from one of the vendors in Hong Kong over at like Argyle Center in Mong Kok. It was so cheap. It was ridiculous. I think it was like 4 USD. Anyways, I wore it a couple times and I was just like, it's not really my style anymore. And then, giving away this button up these trousers which I got from H&M about four years ago and I wore it maybe five or six times um, and I realized you know I don't wear it that often so I must give it away <sighs> and that's it you guys that is my haul and this is my trade-off and I am being consumed by clothes right now after a while, what happens is that I'm going to end up with no clothes to donate because I, I will love everything because I, I picked it, I sorted out, I wore it, I, cat I cataloged it. So after a while, it's going to be less and less and less and less. So I'm really excited for this adventure. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it's really, really long. I'm sorry for that. But remember to rock on slowly. See you later. Bye. Welcome back to another DIY and today our DIY is focused on the new year and what to wear for the new year party. Today I want to show you guys how to make